up guys it's Paul of Starwork here and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make this 2D intro and it's really simple just for beginners to kick off the channel and start a new series so to make this we're going to go up to composition and hit new composition uh, make the duration 10 seconds and change the background color to whatever color you like um, First, we're going to turn on Title Action Safe by coming to the middle and hitting Title Action Safe. Uh, now we're going to make a circle. So at the top, you should see uh, the tools, and you can hold, uh, click and hold, uh, and uh, drag onto and release on the shape that you want. So we're going to get rid of the fill by clicking on the word fill and hit none and then we're gonna give it a stroke so just hit solid color okay and then make the stroke width um, 10 and change the color to whatever you like so first we're just gonna go to the center try and line up the two crosses with each other and then click hold shift and control then drag out and it should make a perfect circle so after we do that we're gonna come up to the top where it says effect go down to transition then hit radial wipe then you're gonna change the transition completion to a hundred percent then stopwatch click the stopwatch right next to it move about half a second and then change the percentage down to zero So now we should have this circle that kinda just draws itself and for it to fill in we're going to click on shape layer one hit control D which should duplicate it come up to the radial wipe hit delete and then uh, change change it so that it has a fill and make the color whatever you like doesn't really matter and then get rid of the stroke so make sure the stroke is at none uh, now that we're on shape layer 2 we're, come, uh, we're gonna come up to effect go down to transition and hit linear wipe we're gonna change the transition completion to a hundred percent then keyframe it or hit the stopwatch, move about another half second, then change it to 0%. So now we have the circle that draws itself and fills in. So after that, we're going to have a box come in. And to do that, we're going to come up to the tools and hit rectangle tool. Uh, make sure the fill is off and the stroke is on. Same pixels, you can change the color if you want. Uh, we're going to drag out from the middle while holding shift and control and just make a box around the circle so to animate it we're going to come up to effect transition and then linear or radial wipe uh, come here to start angle change uh, change the degree to 180 and uh, change the uh, percentage completion to 100 and so we're going to uh, hit the stopwatch move about half a second then change it to zero and now this uh, box comes around our circle so from here we're just going to make them all fade out so to do that we're going to click on shape layer 3 and then hold shift then click on shape layer 1 and so that should highlight all of them now click T on your keyboard uh, click oh, all the opacity should come up and then click the stopwatch on one of them move just a couple frames uh, and drag the 100% down to zero so now we have this quick animation uh, fade out so I'm at around two seconds so after we do that we're going to type in our name or our text or whatever we want to say and uh, just type something in, I don't know, text or name. Uh, highlight it, uh, change it to a color that you like or something, I don't know, and then uh, add a, or make it a font that you like. Just something random. So uh, once you've done all that, you want to kind of drag it to the center, as, I don't know, as, as much as you can. And then um, we're going to... Let's see. We have to make the box correct. And yeah. So the box is going to come in. 
uh, with the transition. So we're going to come up to the tools, hit the rectangle tool, and it should still be on stroke. And uh, you're going to come to the right of your text and just drag from the bottom up and then to the left. So you don't have to hit uh, sh uh, shift or control just so it, uh, you know, boxes your text. So leave a little space on the left. And uh, to make this transition in, we're going to go to Shape Layer 4, which is the box, go up to Effect, Transition, and then CC Jaws. Change the completion all the way to 100%, then uh, keyframe it or stop, hit the stopwatch, move about half a second, then move it all the way down to zero. And so now I kind of have like this uh, box kind of coming out of nowhere. Uh, so once we've done that, we're going to make this kind of uh, bar come up like a typing uh, bar. So uh, right here, it just kind of draws out our name for us. So to do that, we're going to come up to the pen tool and then make sure the stroke is on any color and then make sure it's 10 uh, as the stroke width. Then come to the top of the letter on the left and click once and then go down to the bottom of the letter and then click twice and then try try and make it as straight as possible. Uh, it can take you a little while. You can just drag the bottom and just, you know, play with that. So we're going to have this fade in. So we're going to click on Shape Layer 5 and hit T. Uh, keyframe the opacity. Uh, move it down to zero. Then move just a couple frames on the uh, timeline and move it to 100%. So now we have this um, kind of tool, or this bar just kind of fade in. So after it fades in, uh, we're going to click it, and then on the left where, uh, where the drop down arrow is, click it so it comes up, and then click it again so it comes down. All this stuff is going to come up, we're just going to focus on the position. So keyframe the position where it's at right now, then move around a second ahead, then change of 960 to uh, uh, just move it to the right until it passes the end of your text, like that. So now we have this like uh, bar come in and then swipe across the text. Now we need to animate the text. So to do that, we're going to click on our text come up to effect transition and then linear wipe we're going to change the wipe angle to negative 90 and then keyframe the transition where like the bar just so like if you move your timeline tool just so like right after it um, crosses like half of the first letter you're going to keyframe it um, oops keyframe at a hundred percent and then move it to where it ends, just a little after it ends, and uh, move it all the way down to zero. So now we have like this bar come in and spell out our text for us, which is uh, pretty cool. And so, right after uh, here, hold on. Uh, if if it's not like as perfect as you want it, see right here, it kind of passes the X and the T's already coming up. Uh, hit U while you're highlighting text and then drag the second diamond a little forward so then that it makes more sense uh, that it kinda draws out your name so that looks a little bit better and then right as it finishes right after uh, come back up to shape layer 5 hit T and then drag the opacity down to zero so now we kinda have like this bar come out like fade in and then fade out so yeah um, we're just under uh, five seconds, so uh, to finish it up, we're going to have a black screen uh, just kind of fade in and f uh, just uh, fade out the entire composition. So we're going to change the fill color to a complete black and turn off the stroke. So just from the top left corner, just drag out, make sure you cover the whole screen. Then click on shape layer 6, hit T, move it all the way down to 0, then give it a couple seconds to read, then 
uh, hit the stopwatch on opacity, move a second ahead, and then move it all the way to 100%. Then on the right side, uh, at where it says 10 seconds, move it, uh, move the second uh, bar to where the fade ends, and that should uh, limit the time on your um, video. So now we have this intro. Uh, that looks pretty nice, and uh, yeah, that's just to kick off the tutorials. Hopefully you guys like it, and um, probably in the next one I'll show you guys how to uh, apply music and how to fade it out so it kind of looks uh, professional with the fade. So uh, yeah guys, I'll see you guys later.